Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we have some pretty good news. We have a new promo and special stream coming out tonight at around 7 p.m. Eastern time during the stream, of course, special stream. Uh, we have two new LTDs today and a few announcements. So I'm super excited to go through all this, guys. Definitely fun. We got a new promo. Kind of a surprise. On we didn't really know until the stream started, and Cradle kind of mentioned he had something to go over at the end of the stream. Before that, we had no idea anything was really coming out. So that's pretty cool. Surprise promo. You'd love to see that. Now again, getting really nervous with these promos. You know, where's golden tickets? Where's some of the other stuff? I mean, I like promos, but it makes you makes you a little nervous, right? No announcements of the other stuff. But maybe, maybe it'll be a good summer, right? Maybe that's what this is implying. But yeah, guys, before we get into today's video. Always like, comment, and subscribe, guys. It helps the channel out a lot. So comment down below. Let me know what promo you... Oh, you saw the title. Scratch that. Let me know which player you want from that new promo, right? Like the video. And as well, guys, make sure to always subscribe and turn the noti bell. If you guys need any coins for anything, head over to my new coin sponsor, guys. Their prices are crazy cheap. You got to take advantage. Use code POOL at checkout for an additional 5% off your order. Go check them out. I promise you won't be disappointed. You can build a God Squad. Super easy. But yeah, let's head on out. Let's go check this out. So, first things we got, guys, we have the two new LTDs, which, of course, aren't in-game yet. So, I'm going to go show you the screenshots and then go over a little bit of the promo. So, let's go check all of that out. Right, so, we have Trent Brown, right tackle for the uh, Raiders. Now, the thing here, I have to turn my camera off so you guys can see the stats. I know in the past I've covered that, so let's fix that real quick. So, Trent Brown, right tackle for the Raiders. He's a power, as is uh, archetype. LTD, of course, can get up to a 98 overall, which is super great. Now, stats look pretty good because here's the thing. I, nothing, I hate nothing more than when a player is like a 96 or 97 overall, but all their stats are below 96 or 97. And you don't really understand how they got up there. And then you find out that they have like an 85 um, eighty-five throw power for no reason behind the scenes, like just to boost their stats up. Hate stuff like that. But this card looks good. 94 strength, a little bit low. Awareness 97, that's great. 97 pass block, great. 97 pass block power is amazing. 95 pass block finesse is great. 96 run block, 96, 97 run block power, and 96 run block finesse. So powered up and counted up, guys. He's going to get to 99 in a lot of those stats, or at least 98, 96, 97s, right? So he lives up to his overall great right tackle. Probably going to be the best right tackle in the game. Will he be expensive? I mean, he is an LTD, so we can probably assume that he'll be pretty expensive. I mean, that's just kind of how this works. Um, in my personal opinion, would I pick him up? Like I said, if, if he's more than 300K, he's probably not worth it. You can always just go with a team of the year one. They'll get the job done, right? It'll be cheaper because they are a, you know, they're technically like set pack players. Uh, you can get the free one from your mutt, your mutt pack yesterday, the EA play pack, or sorry, two, three days ago. So what I take him, unless he was a great price of like 300K below, power pass, whatever, I probably wouldn't waste my money on a card like that because, again, we don't really know at what point does it really make a difference, right? For linemen, like, are they all just the same? Do they even matter? I've seen plenty of tests where, you know, it doesn't seem like they even matter. I've seen people with no O-line play just as good, if not better than people with O-line. Madden's a little funky when it comes to O-line play. I hope they really revamp that next year and make O-linemen really matter. Like, the difference between a left guard that's a 99 overall and 91, like, or even, like, when you play someone who has no left tackle or no left guard and they just running away on you. Really got to fix that. Make block sheds super easy against guys like that because that's how it is in real life. Well, I'm a Giants fan, so I know firsthand. I see, you know, I've seen Eric Flowers just get tossed around like a rag doll. I've seen our left guard get insta block shut up for, you know, Saquon can't get anywhere. That's how it should be in, you know, in Madden too. If, you're, if your left guard's trash and you run to the left, you shouldn't have to deal with, you know, and then if your left guard's trash, and I'm playing you, and, I, and you guys run to the left, I should get insta sheds almost, not every time. Or I should at least be able to bull rush him backwards like they do, you know, really just destroy the, the, the run scheme, right? But. So that's the point. Moving on, guys, to the next LTD. We have Keanu Neal. Strong safety for the Falcons. He looks pretty. He looks solid. I mean, he's not nothing too special. He's got 94 speed, 94 excel, 95 tackle, 95, uh, 94 play rack, 97 pursuit, 93 man, 96 zone, 97 hit power. Now, again, he can be powered up, so that's important. He's a run support archetype. Now, he only gets 95 speed, which kind of sucks. Uh, he's still going to get up to a 97 with sprinter. So he's going to be a good card. But again, I wish he would have had at least a 95 speed. I believe he's kind of tall as well. Now, the thing with Keanu Neal, overall with this card, his Excel is going to be a 95 and 95 speed, right? Back to back. And then he'll get a 97 speed. His tackle will be 96. That's great. His play rec. Okay, so we put lockdown on him. His play rec will be a 99. His pursuit will be a 98. His man coverage will actually be a 99 as well. And his zone will be a 99. His hit power will be a 98. So if you play him, I would recommend he's a linebacker for you. You know, you play him in the box. He's going to be a great box safety, guys. He's going to get 98 hit power, which is insane. 97, 99 zone, 99 man, 98 pursuit, 96 tackle, 99 play rec, 95 speed, good height. He'll be a great in-the-box safety. Again, are there plenty of other guys like him? 
yeah, I mean, you know, we have a lot of good safeties this year, so I don't think he's, you know, specific, like, the guy to put in the box. Like, you know, there's probably others, maybe cheaper options. It's really up to you, but Keanu Neal does look really, really good. Again, I wish the speed started at 95. I feel like that's the staple right now for all secondary guys, cornerbacks, you know, safeties. Speed starting at 95 at this point, you know, so we can get up to 98 with Sprinter, and then, you know, 96 powered up, 98 with Sprinter, so on and so forth. But Keanu Neal looks good. I, I like the card. It looks good. Now, how much will he cost? Probably a few hundred K, you know, 400, 500K. Again, just like Trent Brown, I don't think he's really worth it unless he's in the 300K range or use a power pass. Are there other safeties like, you know, Rodney Harrison, which I'm not saying he's better, but, you know, other guys that are easily accessible on the auction block for cheaper prices? Probably. So just check it out. You got to feel it out. They're not on the block yet, so you have to wait until they do get on the block. Wait for the in-game messaging, of course, because EA has made it pretty clear this year they're done with make rights. So for the most part, if you buy packs and they're not in packs yet, it's your fault because you didn't see the in-game messaging. So, that's pretty much it on that front. Now, let's get into the new promo, guys. We do have Mutt Heroes coming out. That is the coolest looking Mutt Heroes uh, set art that we've had in a long time. I've gotten kind of tired of seeing the other one that we usually have. You know, the superhero comic book stuff. This one looks super cool. Now, I'm assuming it's the same type of Mutt Heroes, right? Uh, you know, offensive, defensive, you know, superpowers. Now, we didn't get this back. We usually get this in, like, September, early October, and we didn't get it. So, we were kind of thought they just skipped out on it. And, well, they probably did. They probably just... They probably were building it or they're going to build it and they didn't have enough time because of covid and everything so they probably uh, scrapped the promo and then decided later in the year they need promo so let's just toss out other stuff like the all rookie promo mud heroes promo and so on and so forth now i'm not complaining it's, it's going to be fun going to be a great promo i'm gonna i'm gonna love the promo of course but i wonder how they're going to do it right i hope they give us good overalls it better be 90 we better have a 98 overall player in here it better not be like 96s 95 campus hero stuff it better be 98, maybe even the first 99, that's not, you know, the Super Bowl MVP, that'd be pretty cool. I don't think it will be 99s just yet, I think it'll be 98, 97s, but either way, the car, that, that looks cool, right? That kind of reminds me of Fortnite a little bit, uh, like the hero stuff back then and that stuff, but I do love the car, I do love the, the set art, so based off that, I imagine the card art's gonna be super cool, I imagine the promo's gonna look super cool, it might still be the superhero stuff, like comic book S, but it'll, be, it'll go away from that white newspaper, you know, white and gray newspaper-esque um, color scheme, and maybe more into a bluish red superhero superman s type color scheme which i really like now again if you guys don't know what mud heroes is the players are superheroes they have superpowers uh on the field that does not mean they do special stuff it means that they usually come pre-stocked with certain sometimes they come pre-stocked with certain boost and pre-stocked with certain stats so for instance kind of like golden tickets where they get a boost on something so saquon barkley um uh, i think he you know like lineman will have super strength right like there was a lineman with super strength so that lineman is like say uh zach martin He'll be a regular Zach Martin 98 overall card the way you expect, except his strength would be 99 because he's super strength. And then sometimes there's even duos. Like if you pair Zach Martin with uh, Ezekiel Elliott in the promo, they both get a plus two, uh, you know, he gets uh, Zach Martin gets plus two to his zone blocking and he gets plus two to his trucking, right? They used to be duo stuff like that too. I hope they bring that back. There'll be wide receivers whose super superpower is like super speed. So they're, you know, speed's fast. So they'll be like, um, uh super super agility you know super quickness all this stuff there used to be bios on them i don't know how far they're going to really go on this one you'll know more at 7 p.m eastern tonight but yeah that pretty much wraps up today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always like i said it's super important so comment down below what player do you want from mud heroes what is your favorite mud heroes player of all time if you guys need coins for anything heading over to uh, mutt coin bank down below use the code in the description and hit the link Use code Poodle, guys. The price is super cheap. Stock up for Mud Hero tomorrow. You're going to need it. Plenty of good players to pick up, probably. I can imagine. You'll know more at 7 p.m., like I said. Yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.